Recently leaked text messages that have been obtained by the Atlanta Journal Constitution show that defeated Republican Senator Kelly Loeffler was one Republican who faced extreme pressure by individuals like Marjorie Taylor Greene to essentially do what Trump wanted her to do and help him overturn the results of the 2020 election. A month before the conservative firebrand was sworn into the US House, Green asked Loeffler to talk about a plan we are developing on how to vote on the electoral college votes on January 6th. I need a senator, Green wrote on December 2nd, 2020. And I think this is a major help for you to win on the 5th. Okay, so let's pause for a second. Marjorie Green is just some low level Congresswoman and an embarrassment to the American people. Why isn't she being prosecuted? She's clearly involved in this. There are communications and correspondences that prove it. She should be prosecuted. I mean, she is an awful person, but let me continue. There's more. Uh, less than three weeks later on December 20th, Green invited Loeffler to a White House meeting the following day that she said was organized with Trump his legal team and members of Congress who are going to challenge the electoral college votes for Joe Biden in several key states on January 6th. Seems like Marjorie Green knew a lot about what was gonna happen on January 6th before it happened. So yep. maybe look into that. Loeffler was also contacted by Jody Heiss who told her that he'd attended the meeting and uh, meeting and plan to object to the election certification. And so uh, he wrote this, Kelly, I wanted to give you the heads up that I will be contesting the electoral votes on January 6th. Wanted to check with you about doing the same in the Senate. I know I know you've had people ask, I was wondering if you, ha if you have made a decision, right? So there's just all this pressure coming from members of Congress uh, for Loeffler to do the right thing in reality, do the wrong thing and try to steal the election from its rightful winner, Joe Biden. Yeah, so there's two different parts of the story. First is Loeffler, both hypocrisy and how telling her actions are. So before her election, Marjorie Taylor Greene and the others are saying, man, if you decide that you're gonna join our coup and make sure that you impose Trump as dictator, we'll help you with your election. And remember, our base is filled with a bunch of morons uh, who want to overthrow the American government. So you want to help Kelly and she seems reluctant. You could see it in the correspondence, but ultimately she says, yes, yes, I want uh, vengeful uh, Republicans who hate America to vote for me. So I, I will join your coup, right? Then the coup happens, remember Loeffler's in the building. And now this is an attack against the elites and Loeffler don't like that and she's already lost. Mm. So she's like, "Oh, now that my own personal interests are not involved, or if they flipped in a sense, I've already lost the election, and now I felt slightly in danger by you lunatics. And then she goes, no, I'm certifying the election. Thousand percent. I mean, I don't want anyone to get this idea that she was this Republican senator with a backbone. No, these Republican senators and Republican members of the House were constantly thinking about their own political goals, their own political aspirations. They didn't care at all about protecting and maintaining our democratic process or whatever's left of it, right? All they cared about is how is this going to either benefit me or potentially hurt me? And yeah. it is disgusting that even after the riots that took place, you had Republicans in Congress still contest the electoral college votes. Insane, absolutely insane. And, and you can tell from the, the correspondence back and forth, that most of the politicians, including Loeffler, knew that what they were doing was wrong. Mm -hmm. That Biden had won the election and they were trying to steal it for Trump. Now, to be fair to Marjorie Taylor Greene, because we're the fairest show in America, I think she's a real believer. I think she's a bona fide lunatic. And so thought, oh yeah, if you get less votes, that means you won, yeah. Uh, yeah you know what, Trump had more votes, but the Jewish space lasers burned him away, right? So. But Loeffler is like, well, okay, should I help them cheat and just destroy democracy? And every senator and most of the Republican congressmen all knew that what they were doing was an attack on America. Absolutely. Right? And uh, dozens of them did it anyway, which then leads to the second point in this story. Look, you, you said she, she, Marjorie Taylor Greene should be arrested for helping to do what is really a-, a She should be prosecuted, prosecuted. absolutely, yes. Uh, guys, the fake elector plot was a real coup attempt. 
the break in, the riots was bad, it was trespassing, it was violence. They should be prosecuted on those grounds. But the guys who planned the coup were not the rioters. They were Marjorie Taylor Greene, Donald Trump, John Eastman, Steve Bannon, etc. right? But Democrats love the elites. They love them so much. And there was dozens of Republican congressmen involved. They mm -hmm. were they're never going to prosecute them. They're never going to allow prosecutions of them. Because they view those Republican congressmen as more similar to them than their own voters. So there's zero percent chance that Marjorie Greene will be held accountable. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. So really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.